Hello, welcome back to Sound Gaming, and today we're going to do the second episode of my, like, how to make efficient series. I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, in today's episode, we're going to automate... Oh, no. Sorry, that's the sound of my main base powering down. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll fix that out later. Um, but for today, what we're going to be doing is figuring out... Um, Plates and iron rods. Now these these resources are mainly used in beginner games, so I'm going to try and stick to beginner tech as best as I can. Uh, mostly just smelters, constructors, and um, tier one conveyor belts uh, is pretty much all you need for the basic setup. And then I'm going to do the more advanced setup, which is the tier two um, a minor. Uh, so that should make life a lot easier. So first things first, we're going to do iron plates because iron plates. Are pretty good um, now the problem with iron plates in a beginner setup is um, well it's not really necessarily a problem is I think you just uh, you, it's just not a, it's just not efficient at all um, basically it's an entirely one-to-one -one ratio the entire way across so you know one constructor um, just like this this is all, this is all there is um, in fact, we'll have a um, storage facility at the back. Uh, I, okay, whatever. So yeah, we'll use basic conveyor belts. That is very interesting. Yep, yeah, just basic conveyor belts all the way across, like so. Um, and then... Uh, why not? We'll hook all this up. Uh, so that we're all good. And then I'll just quickly power it with just the basic biomass generator. Um, and throw in some biomass. Boom. Okay. So, yeah. This should uh, give me pretty much iron plates. Uh, the reason why is it produces one iron per 30, or 30 per minute. And then this needs two iron per 30 per minute. Um... So actually, I think I actually did the, the the math wrong here, and I actually think I need two smelters for one plate. Um, so let's just see. Uh, I can't remember. I'm I'm going off based of memory here. Nope, one smelter is fine. Okay, good. Cool. That would have been very embarrassing because I have done this so many times. Um, right. So one smelter, one plate. Spits it out, boom, there you go. One to one. Which is great, but if you want a lot of plates, which you will you will need in the beginning of the game to unlock new tech, you need a crap ton of plates and you need a crap ton of iron rods. Um, so sure, um, this'll work, but you would need another one. You need to, you know, do a second one, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Um, Iron rods, however, are a lot more um, efficient, or a lot, they're, they're better, I would argue, in the sense that you get more for them. Um, I'm going to build a, another one of these, um, and we're going to build a minor mark one. Uh, this one's going to be for rods, right? Because, hey, I need rods. Um, so, interesting enough, I only need one smelter for this guy as well. Um, Yes, I, I believe so. Um, only one smelter, and then if you remember in my copper video, I did a splitter. I did the same setup. Uh, this, and I even mentioned that this setup that I am doing right now is useful for pretty much um, copper wire and iron rods. Uh, but simply because it just they have the basically the same ratios uh, in terms of. Um, Input. Let's throw you there. Um, and throw you there. It's not going to be perfect, but... Alright, nope, that's not wrong. I only, want, I only need mark two. Uh, I, I do like having straight... Um, well, I really like having straight um, co uh, conveyor lines. But uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Eh, that's close enough. Whatever. Right. So, um, yeah, this same setup is used pretty much, I pretty much use for all my, uh, for both copper and, um, 
copper and uh, iron rods because it's basically like I keep saying in, in rep repetition uh, the same ratio and the ratio makes this um, work exactly the same so what it does this makes me iron ingots and then this makes me iron rods iron rods are one per 15 per minute um, this produces uh, one every 30 seconds 30 minutes so one so if you divide that by two that's you know for some reason that works out it's strange how they don't say like two every 30 minutes or like the, the time is different it's really weird but it needs one every 15 minutes and this produces one every 30 minutes I don't know how this works like for me just just saying that out loud sounds wrong like it's not supposed to do that like, that's not how math works but lit lit literally that's like how it works um, let's do a merger here and just have it merge into um, I keep going there I don't know why um, into one of these um, I would recommend if you're in the beginning of the game to not merge them I would actually recommend to use them separately or go into separate containers um, simply because for merging you to get the most efficient out of it you need the next step up in order for it to be a smooth merge um, because this is producing six, uh, moving 60 resources per minute that's 60 and this is 120 so when you're merging two lines of 60 that's one um, 120 so you so that's what you want um, everything is hooked up and ready to go um, we are going to put this guy on standby empty it out shouldn't take that long at all and then I'll reroute the power um, right so you're done you're done boom okay so let's just uh, reroute the power um, boom alrighty so this guy should work it takes a little bit to warm up um, so then let's talk about tier 2. Tier 2 is going to get a little complex mainly because I don't have a lot of space to show both so I'm going to do one at a time. Um, I could do a second story thing and all that and make it all look nice but the thing is this is for me a temporary structure. This is just for teaching purposes so I'm pretty much going to disassemble everything when I'm done. Um, so yeah. I find it a yeah look this says a hundred percent efficiency so that's how you know it's working uh, if this says a hundred percent and look not overclocked there's nothing there's like no overclocking anywhere and everything is at a hundred percent efficiency uh, except for this guy but you have no power and no no re intake or anything but yeah um, everything is working as intended this should be getting one every time it's done that's almost it's not perfect it's not like yeah well it's mostly working um, and yeah everything works perfectly actually I think I lied you don't really you you can if you have mergers I think you can get away with um, with as long as there's not a backup backlog here I think you can get away with just doing a, a mark one but if you're if you're producing resources such as um, uh, screws or um, copper wire or anything that gives you multiple outputs this only outputs one rod but if it say gave you three rods then you definitely want the higher the faster conveyor belt on the other side but because it's just one to one I mean there's not going to be ever a backlog on this thing so you know yeah also keep an eye on these if these get full then it backlogs the entire system I mentioned this in the previous episode and I even talked about it but if it backs up um, if, it, if it gets full here then it backs up on the on the conveyor belts and then it uh, backs up on this and then backs up I keep saying backup but backlogs on that and then that and then that and then suddenly um, it's not efficient anymore it's actually inefficient it's wasting power and it's like yeah it's just it's gonna stay constant at the at max and it's just not gonna be giving you as much as you want um, and also it's not going to smelt any resources unless you take it. So if that's ever, if you ever get completely backlogged, I recommend just turning off your miner, and that should completely fix everything. Um, so yeah. 
Um, also, in terms of upgrading this to tier 2, it's very simple. All you have to do is literally, at every point, split it in two. So what I mean by that is, hey, this is a Mark 1. It goes to one, my, one um, smelter. Well, Mark 1 does one, uh, 30 per minute, and um, we need it to and a Mark 2 to 60 per minute. So that means you need to double the smelters, double the constructors, and then you're good. Um, and that works for pretty much anything um, because uh, Mark 2 is double uh, output than Mark 1. So that means if your system, if this is the most efficient system for rods and you upgrade you to Mark 2, well, you gotta basically double the system in order to keep it efficient, um, which is useful uh, to note. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to uh, tear down, uh, actually I'm going to turn off the miner, I'm going to let it sift through all the resources, because I really don't like carrying resources in my inventory if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, um, especially raw stuff, I'm, I'm, I just don't like keeping raw stuff on me anymore. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a second, um, when this is all cleaned up, I'm going to disassemble it so we can make space for the Mark II version of this guy, so I can show you what the, that setup looks like. Um, it's really not that complex, but um, but yeah, and then after that we'll do the Mark II setup for this guy. Um, see you guys in a second. Alrighty, we're back. So, now what we're going to do is uh, upgrade this Minor Mark II to a uh, Minor Mark I to Minor Mark II. Um, so so that we can uh, get the more expensive um, look at the upgrade. Um, I'm probably going to have to move um, a few of these things around simply because uh, there's not a lot, a lot of space here to um, do a splitter, I think. Let's, let's see. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not enough space here. Let's just check. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely not. So I'm gonna have to move a few of these things around um, so that the splitter is right here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Do you still connect to it? Okay, you do. But yeah, so I know I, kept, I keep mentioning um, let's see uh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that po the point I was going to make in a second. Um, but for now, let's quickly uh, throw down the constructors and all that so that... Um, uh, everything should look good. So yeah, in, I mean, in theory, what um, every time you go to Mark II of anything, you're basically just doubling um, your output kind of thing. Um, we are going to do uh, conveyor belt three and two. Um, yeah. So if in this, how to describe this? So for this setup, one thing you really need to keep in mind is um, definitely to. Uh, Uh, yeah, you definitely have to keep in mind the speed of the conveyor belts. So for this guy, um, because I'm splitting, um, I'm taking in a speed of one of, um, so this is producing 60, oh crap, I didn't actually, uh, nope, standby, standby. Uh, I didn't set anything up yet, or power anything. Um, yeah, so every time you upgrade your setup or layout, you want to keep in mind ratios and just making sure that you're not uh, spending too much resources or spending too little. Um, so yeah, let's quickly then get into uh, getting all this stuff figured out. So iron plates, again everything should be a one to one ratio for iron plates. I think iron plates is definitely the easiest to upgrade because it's just pretty straightforward, doesn't require a lot of um, uh, changes or a lot of space. Uh, the other one, the iron rods, is going to pretty much take double the space, so I'm going to have to get rid of that and probably keep expanding this way. Um, but for now, let's put you off standby and show you how everything works. Um, so yeah, ta-da! Uh, 
Oh, oh, wait, why? Uh, right, I forgot. We need double the power. Um, for some reason, Mark II costs a lot more power, uh, which makes actually a lot of sense. But um, let's throw in some uh, power and um, hook you up to you. Boom. Okay, everything should be good to go. Did you run out of... Oh. Boom. There we go. Okay, everything's powered up. So everything should be a one-to-one -one ratio. Meaning, um, by the time it's completed this guy, it's now produced one more. There you go. So everything is working perfectly. Um, you've doubled the output, and you've only used one miner. Um, so I'm going to probably be using this setup in... Um, soon because I'm actually in the process of getting all the resources needed to upgrade all my miners to Mark IIs. Uh, the problem I'm going to be facing is figuring out space for uh, the rods because the rods and the plates I have at my main base are, you know, right next to each other. So I got to figure that all out. Um, but right now, as you can see, everything is sufficiently working. Every, uh, every time it gets one, it's, it's spitting it out. Um, now here's the deal with upgrades, right? Um, what I'm going to do is uh, break this and let it kind of fill, finish what it's doing, because I want to talk about overclocking, how overclocking works, and how it's efficient, um, real quickly. And I'm probably going to make a dedicated video to this, because overclocking is confusing, very confusing. Um, so let's, actually no, I can do it right now. Boom. Um, three, no, uh, four, no, six. Uh, let's just do mark twos. Okay, um, boom. So we have this system. It's a very basic system. Um, definitely does not take that long, right? It's, uh, oh, it's, it's slow. It's clunky. I need a lot of plates, but hey, I've got um, a lot of power shards on me, right? I can I can make this more efficient. So how do I do that? Well, I want more plates. So the, the, the most people do is they just say, okay, I want more plates. So they just throw the overclocker in here. Um, no, I wouldn't do that. So let me show you what happens if I overclock this. Uh, and we're going to do an extreme case, meaning I'm just going to throw three in here, right? Now it's not overclocked just yet because I haven't increased the bar, but uh, we right now have the perfect st static ratio, meaning that everything is flowing correctly. Um, we're actually going to take these plates, right? But now I'm going to overclock it because I need a lot of more resources. Well, this is going to go faster uh, once it's done. Boom, faster. Wait. Now it's waiting for resources. Why would you do that, right? Because now, for me to um, get more plates, I'm actually waiting for them. I'm not actually getting them faster. I'm producing them faster, sure, but I'm not actually getting them faster. I'm getting them roughly at the same rate that I was getting because um, this isn't producing more in any case, in any way. Um, so the input of resources is not fast. Is not keeping up. So to do that. Um, leads me into what, how to overclock properly. You essentially, for every upgrade you want, you need to upgrade the entire layout. So I'm just going to throw one on there, over overclock it, and even throw it on here, and overclock it. Um, wait, boom. Okay, no, I got to manually drag it. Boom, overclocked. Um, let's make sure power should be keeping up, right? So now that may not have been it's not like a major difference you that you can notice but it's definitely going a little faster um, you can tell because it's saying 22.5 per minute so you, you've not really doubled it but you've definitely gotten it faster and it's still keeping up it's still static so that's something you always need to keep in mind when you are um, Overclocking. It's when you want to overclock something and make your system faster without actually spending the resources to actually manually upgrade it. Like, say I'm in, not I haven't gotten all the resources for or all the tech for tier two, but you still need iron plates faster, for example. Then you overclock the entire system, and then that makes everything work. So I'm gonna break this now. 
let it clear out, I'm actually going to turn off one of these guys. Um, because I don't need it yet. Um, and I'm going to clear the space so that we can show, so I can show you the Mark II of uh, this guy. Um, we're almost out of time, so I'm probably going to have to speed, uh, pre-build some stuff. I hope you don't mind. Um, everything should be good to go. Good. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll pause. I'm going to disassemble everything and then uh, figure out if I can fit everything on this platform or not. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So I came here real quick to get uh, some concrete and I just wanted to show you guys that I use um, a very similar system that I do for the iron um, for the iron rods here. Uh, just minus the, the um, smelter, they go into two constructors and they merge back together to one vera line. This is also an impure node. So um, yeah, um, I will see you guys back at the, the tutorial spot. Uh, I just had to grab more concrete for more platforms so I can build and make everything look nice so yeah just wanted to quickly point that out that um, the systems that I that I'm showing you can be used pretty much in in almost any situation and um, or any minor uh, mining situation so yeah see you guys in a second alrighty welcome back where um, we're back with uh, where we left off in um, upgrading now the rods facility um so what we need to do now is basically double the system i had previously which in itself is going to be pretty much a nightmare um because of just how much space it's gonna take um yeah in fact i'm pretty much gotta re-space all of these because i thought um in fact i don't even have space in my inventory right now um, one second. Let's just throw a self storage right here real quick. Um, and just throw some some stuff that I don't really need on me. Uh, ye, um, yeah, I should be good. Alright, so what I need to do is, um, ugh, fine, I'll take all this stuff. Take all. Right, so what I need to do is have, um, smelters in uh for there's uh, i'm trying to think um so for every um two smelters there needs to be two or one constructor there uh for every one smelter <laughs> there is two um ooh, i can't afford that because i don't have any copper on me for every one smelter there is exactly two um constructors so basically how that works um, is it's going to be a lot of constructors all sitting right next to each other like so I'm just gonna make okay so there's three or there's two there okay so I'm gonna need eight constructors I believe um, which is a lot right um, but it's definitely what's gonna happen because of uh, how many smelters we have because we're basically doubling our output if that makes any sense yeah we are doubling our output I have like completely <laughs> lost my train of thought uh, when I went to grab resources I was on top of everything and now I'm not so uh, I'm sorry um, let's just get rid of all this except for the end ones because we got to figure out where they're gonna go. Um, get rid of pretty much all these things in the way. Um, right, so we need a smelter there and a smelter here. Um, like so. Uh, let's just be symmetrical about it and line up this guy and that guy. Right, so now what we need is a splitter here, a splitter here, um, and they go into there. Okay, so yeah, this makes sense. So I'm going to need a splitter to go here. Uh, what this does is um, splits the resources evenly into two. 
uh, which is what we want. We don't want to have... Um... Oh, interesting. Where's that guy? Okay, you're there. Um... Oops. Right. Um, Q. Right, so we want resources to be evenly split, and then we want them... Like so, let's do that. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna do six. We're gonna just connect all these conveyor belts like so. Um... How I, I, I want the conveyor belts to work is I want... For every time you split it, you divide the intake by two. So these are moving at about 160 per minute. Um, and so I need basically tier threes to keep up. Um, I don't have to, to be fair. I don't think you, you have to. Oh, wait. I, that's the wrong one. Four. You, two, you. You, two, you. Boom. Okay, so that should all work. And then I'll need another splitter. Uh, another four splitters basically one here and one here and you know pretty much got to keep going make sure that they're all lined up um, ooh, these are not lined up Wh whatever uh, six uh, for this uh, I'm going to double that because I'm splitting it I don't, oh wait, no, I need to wait. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. Uh, let's just do. S let's just do Mark Twos all the way across. I'm not exactly 100% sure if this will keep up properly, but I think it will. Um, and if it doesn't, then it gives me an excuse to talk about why uh, conveyor belts speeds are pretty important on moving resources around and stuff like that. Um, isn't gonna. Oh, it's, I guess it is gonna be symmetrical, mostly. Oh, what the heck? No, that's not what I wanted. So, yeah. Uh, boom. This should all be nice to go. All good to go. Everything is working. So, now all we gotta do is power it all. Uh, which is in itself a nightmare. Oh, god. Okay, um, we're gonna need a power pole. Here, gonna need a power pole. Um, trying to get it here. Uh, power pole here and here. Um, and of course, a uh, power pole. Uh, I guess here. Uh, that should. power pretty much everything. Um, I'm going to also have to upgrade my power supply that I have. Oh, wait. Boom. Okay, so that's all figured out. Um, you're connected to you. Perfect. So that means you need to connect to um, a power source pretty much right here. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's just... Oh wait, no, you're supposed to be over here. Huh, okay. I don't really know how I did this on the other side, but honestly, as long as everything's powered, I really don't care. Um, and you connect to you, and you connect to you, and you connect to you, and then, of course, we're going to throw down some power, uh, probably three biomass generators, because uh, I think two is probably not going to be enough. Um... Like so. So now let's um, 
don't need it powered for long, so let's just throw pretty much 50 gas in there. Alrighty, boom, everything should be working. Uh, except for the fact that, um, uh, you know, I kind of don't have any of these set for anything that they need to do, so uh, I'm going to go quickly do that because it's going to take quite a bit, so see you in a quick sec. Alrighty, there we go. Everything is all hooked up and ready to go. Um, now all we got to do is throw the power back on and everything should be... Uh, oh wait, why did you... Huh, why is this thing on? Not, not powered. Oh no, um, shoot, uh, shoot, uh, shoot, um... Um, sh shoot, um, shoot, um, shoot, there, uh, <laughs> that worked, uh, I don't know what I did, but it did something. Alrighty, cool, everything's all powered and ready to go. Uh, unfortunately this is gonna be consistently stable at that, so whatever. Um, but look at it go, oh wait, you don't have power either. Um, does everything have power? No, you don't. Oh man, okay, so hopefully everything should be working properly um, except not really because this is melting faster than it's getting resources oh man yeah like I said um, a, a lot of ways to, to to make sure that things are efficient, just make sure that everything is getting resources as fast as it can. I mean, uh, uh, and always just check to make sure that it's being consistent. Um, and then once you know you got that, um, yeah. So like it's almost in almost instantaneous. As you can see right now, it's not producing anything because I spent it more than it made it. Uh, this is a tier two, right? Okay, it is a tier two. So why are you not... Huh. Yeah, I don't like this. This isn't working. <laughs> I thought this would work. This should work. There's no reason it shouldn't. Um... Oh, okay. Wait, why do you not? Oh, okay, that... There we go. That makes a little more sense. Like, that one was not working. But this one is not perfect. I'm guessing it's because of distance. The so one way to fix this, I know I talked about overclocking and how it's important that you um, uh, don't overclock the ends. However, you can overclock the beginning and find that sweet spot. Well, that's so loud. Um, so that should help right now. Uh, the reason why, I know why it's not working. The reason why it's not working is because of the splitters themselves. There's like literally nothing I can do, um, to make them more efficient. Oh man, power. Ugh, okay, one more. Biomass burner. Uh, throw you in. literally just connect you anywhere. Okay, go. So the reason why it's not really efficient Hey. Right, the reason why it's not efficient is because of the splitters. Right now it's splitting it in half and then splitting it in half again. Um, the reason it's doing that is because, you know, that's the only way you can evenly get these uh, the resources to that and like there's again nothing I can really do but uh, yeah so this does take one overclock I guess for it to work but that's just to offset the fact that I'm splitting it in half and then half again so these are getting one fourth the resources when it really just needs half right um, that's why it's not working um, perfectly efficient um, without the overclock so uh, I guess you will need one overclock for this guy to work but other than that, I mean, you pretty much have everything in the bag. Everything is working pretty consistently. Um, every time it, you know, builds one, it's done. So 
glad we figured that out. Um, sorry that it's not perfect, but again, it's kind of hard. W once you start splitting things and splitting them again, second splitting them, it kind of, you lose some intake um, because the math just doesn't work out properly. And it's really frustrating that you can't just like, I don't like that these are that these are split only to three, one, two, three, and then because um, three is such an awful number. I would much rather it be four, or I wish there was like a splitter that would just um, like be two splitters merged together. So there's an output, an output, an output, and output, an output. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But no, already um, that's all we have time for today because I am really out of time. Um, I'm at 40 minutes right now, but I have to cut some of it out. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is definitely the most efficient uh, in terms of everything for both rods and plates. Uh, I hope this is useful for you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more of this content, leave a like and a comment below. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm probably going to be taking a system like this and turning them into screws and figuring out, uh, showing you guys the most efficient way for screw processing and maybe some secondary um, processes. Um, to make those efficient. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye